Good morning. I slept so well last night. You might say I slept like the dead. No, I didn't sleep out here in a cemetery, but I did sleep right next door. Because just up out of this graveyard is the world famous Clown Motel. And this is where I and two of my buddies spent the night last night. Hello there. It's the sometimes vlog. It's a vlog that happens sometimes and today, or at least this morning anyway, it's happening at the world famous Clown Motel here in Tonopah, Nevada. Now I have been out here before. I have stayed at the Clown Motel before. I've even stayed at the Clown Motel when it had its previous owner and it was indeed called the world famous Clown Motel back then, but it really wasn't so world famous. Not as world famous as it is today. As you may know, many, many people are creeped the heck out by clowns. And when this place was built by a brother and sister team whose father was actually buried in that cemetery right there, I guess they wanted to keep things uh, close. They were a very close family. Back in the 1980s, they were thinking, oh, that'll be like a kind of cute, fun theme for our motel. Never realizing how many people find clowns absolutely terrifying. And then the fact that it's right next door to the Tonopah Cemetery over here it's just the icing on the cake for people who like to seek out weird places for people who like to hunt for the paranormal because of course this cemetery is reputedly haunted and therefore by extension so is the world famous clown motel now this has ended up this hotel has ended up on shows like ghost adventures when i came out here and filmed this the first time there weren't too many videos of it and that video was seen by over a million million people, but it was much more plain Jane than it is now. This was just a plain blue building over here. You have this clown marquee, and of course you had the clown sign over here, the clown motel sign along the side of the highway with these light bulbs that uh, dance around the sign over here at night. There were a couple of uh, hand cut, hand painted plywood signs with clowns on them. And if you haven't seen the video from when I was here years and years ago, inside of the rooms, they were they were pretty rough looking. Uh, each one would have maybe one, maybe two sort of old paintings of clowns. And then inside of the office over here, they had a collection of different clowns from around the world that people would drop off like little ceramic clowns or clown paintings reputedly one of the largest collections in the world. But that was about it. The rooms were pretty plain, pretty rough, kind of a small town, little hole in the wall motel. And that was sort of the adventure of it. But as you can see, the outside of the clown motel today is anything but plain Jane. And that's because between the first time and the last time I was out here, the clown motel was sold and got a new owner. And Haim, the guy running the show out here now was an immigrant to this country and an art director for films and he just happened to love clowns so much that not only did he buy this place and start restoring it but he really really leaned into not only the clown theming at this motel but also the fact that it's usually billed as the scariest motel in America and not just for people with coolrophobia which is a fear of clowns I believe that's how you pronounce that but for everybody because of that cemetery over there. He has been painting clowns that have gone in all the rooms. I'm going to show you three of the rooms here in just a second. My room and of course my buddy's rooms and they are now filled with different uh, clown imagery some of which is painted by Haim himself and of course the outside of the building has just gotten insane. This whole front thing that you're looking at this is an addition to the old office slash museum with the giant clown collection in it. We'll go in there uh, last I think but look at this during construction you can already see the way there's some new clowns outlined here to be painted and look at this this uh, new front part of the office is not even finished yet you got all kinds of construction supplies a cement mixer over here and outside even the office this was the old front of the building you can see they are making room to send in a lot more clowns look at this right here caution museum still or has some haunted clowns are you still want to enter there's the office right there there's the clown collection and then over here uh oh warning some grays 
are open ahead. And there you go. Some more hand-painted clowns here. And look at this. All the presidents are being painted as clowns. I don't know what inspired that. There certainly are some clown presidents in our history, that's for sure. But then again, it's probably easier to say all politicians are clowns and be equal opportunity offenders. But yes, we stayed the night at the Clown Motel. This is actually my fifth night staying out here. And like I mentioned, this place is purportedly full of paranormal activity. The first time I stayed here, some weird stuff happened. I was staying in one of the rooms, actually on the far side of the building towards the highway, and the TV came on a couple of times by itself. Now that could just be a malfunctioning television set, right? But I had an eerie feeling. An eerie feeling. But other than that little incident, I have not really seen nor really even heard from my friends who have stayed here with me of any paranormal stories nothing that really chilled me or thrilled me too much it's uh it's nice it's tantalizing any hotel or motel i stay at and there's those plywood uh, clowns on the doors see like i was telling you about it's tantalizing and uh, sort of titillating that any hotel i stay at you think ooh, it's haunted and you kind of build up a thing you let your imagination run wild while you're in your spooky dark room i'm going to show you some of the clown artwork and all these have been added by Haim. these were here but these colors weren't like this it was just a plain blue building um, so I like to think about the ghosts here. I, I like to, you know, I've never been to the afterlife, so I don't know much about it, but I like to think, you know, ooh, maybe it could be true. And I like to get spooked out and scared myself and get excited about different places. The only hotel where I've really seen anything truly scary though myself, personally, spoiler alert, would be the El Rancho Hotel in Gallup, New Mexico. Now that, I must say, I saw a ghost in, uh, but that's a whole separate story. Well, I saw what people say is a ghost. I don't know what I saw, a figment of my imagination. I saw an old man reading a newspaper and I turned a corner and he was gone and there was nowhere for him to go. And the guy working in the lobby said he never saw him either or heard him. So was it just my imagination? Did I see a ghost? I don't know. I also uh, saw something pretty spooky in Walt Disney's old mansion in the Hollywood Hills. I did a video sort of talking about what I experienced that night. So I've seen some ghosts in as much as I've seen spooky shapes and sounds and figures and things that people say are ghosts. I don't know what they were. Could be figments of my imagination. Not sure. But the whole point is, I hear at the Clown Motel, I haven't seen anything quite like that yet myself. It is a spooky enough place though. And it's cool because the first time I came here, half the rooms were filled up with people living here. And now that I come here, I see all kinds of young people here, people who've checked out this place on social media, seen the YouTube videos. They're out here dressed up in their cool goth costumes, or sometimes they're dressed up as clowns. They look like horror movie fans to me. And that's a good thing because Haim, uh, one of the first things he did was to pin up all over the property. Signs that say everywhere, photography, welcome. Please take pictures, please post them on social media, which is the right way to do things. That's the right way to expand a business in the 21st century, and it has been working like crazy. And now the Clown Motel is a truly world famous. Millions of people have seen it. People travel here from all over the place. Of course, we're here in the morning and everybody is currently checking out, but last night there were all kinds of people here and uh, it's freezing cold in Tone upon Nevada right now. It's not exactly on the beaten path anyways, uh, but there was plenty of people out here yesterday and that was crazy. Okay, now look at this. Haim calls this his namaste clown. He's uh, balancing on all these balls and look at him with his hands crossed there. He finished this and look at 714 23. This is a 30 foot clown. He was telling us about wanting to paint this 30 foot clown the last time we were here and it is finally complete. Would you look at the size of that clown? That is a big freaking clown right there. That's a bigger class clown even than myself. And as you can see, he's added clown motel logos on the side of the building. There's one up there that we can't really see right now, but these big plywood cutouts. He shored up all this walkway and added layers of plywood because this was caving in when I was here the first time under the old owners, covered the stairways, added all these colorful beams of wood, and of course, added more clown paintings to the outsides of all the rooms. Last time we were here, uh, George was staying in the exorcist room over there. You've got the uh, clownvis room over here. Clownvis is a sort of horror clown character. 
And what I was going to say and totally forgot just a second ago is they have now filmed two Clown Motel horror movies here. You can buy the Clown Motel 2 Blu-ray I noticed yesterday in the Clown Motel office. I think they might be on Shutter or Tubi or, you know, some of those streaming sites for kind of indie horror movies. But look at this. He's gone nuts adding clowns everywhere. It used to just be the little plywood cutout clowns. Uh which are now below the room numbers. The room numbers were just written on in Sharpie the first time I came here, and then they have these weird old clowns. He's kept the old school clowns, but he has added so much. Ooh, look, at there's a room right there that I have never peeked into. There's a pet-friendly room over here. Oh my gosh, you got a sad hobo clown on the end there. He's reading a newspaper, and there's just, there's spots, there's bright colors. It feels a lot more clowny than it used to feel, that's for sure. And the cool thing is, clearly he is adding more and more clown paintings every freaking second. Now this place is creepy, especially was creepy under the old owner. And that was half because of the people living here and half because of the condition of the building and then being on the side of the road in Tonopah over here. And there weren't really like other, a lot of other tourists staying here. Maybe some truckers or construction workers or stuff like that, people who are doing jobs. Uh, in this place, but it wasn't so bubbly. It wasn't so fun at all. And that made it spooky. It made it an adventure, that's for sure, but it wasn't really the kind of place you'd want to stay. You got bragging rights for staying in a creepy old rundown clown motel, but it wasn't fun. Haim has come along and added all the fun. He's invited all kinds of people who have filmed their horror movies here, their YouTube videos here, their TikToks, I'm sure, here, and he's invited, you know, clowns to come out. Look, there's another 20 or 30 foot tall jolly clown riding a freaking unicycle. He's basically invited the world in to the clown motel and the world has responded by sending all kinds of people out here to check this place out over and over again. And I have been here three times. I never thought I would come to the clown motel, after the first time especially staying here in the condition it was in before. I, I honestly thought I might never come back to the clown motel. As soon as I saw it had a new owner, and as soon as I saw just the colors he was painting the building, I went, oh yeah, that's for me. Now look at this, leaning into the horror movie aspect. Here's the Pennywise suite. So they have a bunch, bunch of these themed suites out here. Look at this, killer clowns from outer space. That's pretty cool, pretty pretty, pretty good. Here's the Fear Unlimited room. I don't know what that means. I think that might be uh, one of the things they filmed here, Fear Unlimited. So when they film like, movies or horror stuff here, or TV shows, there's been some TV shows. I think there's one on Hulu right now. I can't remember what it is. I'll show you the picture in the office. Um, he'll theme out the suites to that thing. So here you got the stickers on here, Fear Unlimited. And uh, that's a little different. That's also painted by Haim. A little bit of a different style than the other clowns, like uh, the ones on the side of the buildings. Okay, let's go upstairs. I want to show you uh, at least my room. It's just a huge mess because everybody ate and hung out in my room last night. But we're going to go up these plywood stairs here. You can just see how they've been crazy reinforced because everything in this place was falling apart. This is original, though, this old carpet here. And we're going to cruise up here. <laughs> it's just, it's so DIY and random and fun. And every time I come back here, it completely changes. Everything changes. It is worth coming back over and over again because you almost get to see a different clown motel every time. I kind of wish that my first experience would be at this clown motel, the fun clown motel. But at the same time, I'm glad I saw it when it was literally the floor was falling apart. That's why you got this plywood here. However, there was one person who did experience this for the first time last night, and that is my buddy, Fake Tyler. How you doing, Fake Tyler? I'm good. I got a full night's sleep. You got a full night's sleep? Dude, yesterday you were telling me you were not going to be able to sleep at all here. I have a hard time sleeping anywhere that's not my home. You were having a little <laughs> bit of a freak out. You were like, this place is not the Ritz. Yeah. We had a long day yesterday. It was a long day. Because, spoiler alert, the video is probably already up. We drove the entire extraterrestrial highway yesterday. We went to the front and back gates of Area 51. Yeah. We checked out all kinds of extraterrestrial stuff. That was about a 12 hour day. Yeah. And uh, when we got to the clown motel at night, you were a little bit like. I was just out. I was ready to go to sleep. But I was, but I was excited, but I was tired. But then I didn't want to sleep on the beds. Right, right, right. So it was a mixture of feelings. Do I touch anything? Did you take a shower? No. Oh, you didn't experience the no. clown motel shower, dude? I'm good. Is your room ready for a tour, dude? Can we yeah, check out inside? It's as ready as it's going to be. Is it clean? Yeah. You put your dirty skivvies away? So, so what do you think now that you woke up and actually had a good sleep? 
just of being here. It's a place to stay. <laughs> it's one of those things sometimes when you travel a long way and you get to some place that's not the Ritz, you're kind of like, oh, what is this? What am I gonna do? But I find that sometimes I wake up with fresh eyes in the morning and I'm like, this place is awesome. Okay, here we go. It's okay. dark in all the rooms. So this Wait, hold is on. room. Hold on. Let's open oh, these yeah, curtains yeah. up. I was just thinking. Open this pit up. This is room 207. Room 207. Sorry for it being green and dark. First and foremost, I actually, no kidding, love these. Really, like old these clown paintings? These are legit, I wish I had prints of these. So the original clown motel, this is what it, these are was legit. on the wall. These are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but in room 207, we live long and prosper in this room. Oh, that's right, I Spock. forgot. You've got Mr. Spock. Yeah, it, the matting's a little It's a little warped, damaged, yeah. It's a little warped, but it's okay. You got some snacks Seating here. area, we have our snacks. Right. We have some things we purchased on the way. Yeah. This, I have, I noticed you didn't have this. I don't think George did. This is a pretty nice little cart right here. Yeah, you got a microwave. No, I didn't use any of it. You didn't but use any of it? But if you were going to use it. Oh, that's right. You guys use it all in my room. We use it all in your room. And look at this. Here's the bed. Here's a one bed that's not all mussed up, so you can see. Yes. Um, he replaced the old. The furniture in here was so crazy. I'm <clears> sure <throat> this was all sort of closed out. He, Haynes doing this $1 at a time, dude. One plywood board at a time. He's doing it hey, literally himself. But you know what? It's, it's all DIY, which is rad. Yeah, but he clearly got some overstock old hotel stuff, which is nice, because believe me, this is a huge upgrade from how it used to be. Look at this right here. Digitally so, restored by Haim. This was digitally restored. <laughs> I like this one because he's kind of like a boxcar ho like clown. Right, you know? a, hobo. a hobo. A hobo clown. A hobo clown. I think that's the only time it's appropriate to still use the, the word TV, hobo is in reference to clowns. I fell asleep with the TV on last night when okay. I woke up. Made in Manhattan was on. Nice. Woke up to Jennifer, little, Lopez. Jennifer Lopez and uh, Eddie Valiant. I think he's in that movie. Is he really? Heaven, I think. <laughs> Rest in peace. We got a missing, it's a little okay. It's a little TLC. It's okay, it's a little, little clown motel. Right. Hey, I didn't need to use it, oh, so. Oh gosh, dude. Yeah, your your room hasn't been fully clowned out yet, but what in the world I'm is that? I'm not sure who that is. That looks like somebody's aunt. Sort who, of. Who didn't want to dress up like yeah, a clown. Yeah, they're pretty upset about the whole situation. Haunted mirror, did anything paranormal happen? Oh look, other than the paint job right here. And it, like I said, dude, he's doing this all one room at a time. He'll do like some little thing. Yeah. He has replaced some of the flooring with some of the old carpet the, still here. This is commercial carpet which I like it's a glue down carpet but this is nailed down it also works it also works so nothing paranormal huh absolutely you nothing. didn't want to experience this shower right here I can't believe oh, what's, wrong with you? You what's wrong with you man this is a great shower um, what a great shower I just sort of lay down and slept and I got up and I'm now I'm here. So let's go. Let's go wake up George, dude. We're gonna go try yeah, and wake up I don't our know friend. What room George is in? Two George. Two okay, but real quick, one thing my friend Tyler here really loves, like when we go to not scary farms or something like that, you always love the scary clown. Well, I'm not afraid of clowns. We I always have, have, I have a clown phobia. Yeah, I don't you're know not what afraid. They call that, but you like them. You think they're funny. They're fun. Like they're hot, hot clowns. clowns. I want friends with all the clowns now. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't like scary clowns. Like not because I'm scared of them, just because I find I kind of find scary clowns like. Just not my theme. It's just not my theme. Fair I don't enough. want to say annoying. They used to be annoying though at Knott's. Like the old generation of clowns, yeah. they were just mean. Yeah. They would just walk by and try to hurt your feelings. They wouldn't be like funny and... The new clowns are funny, I'll give Fair you enough. that. But you'll go to like Not Scary Farm and sit there and, and hang out with the scary clowns yeah. legitimately yeah. multiple nights a yeah. year, yeah. all night long. Yeah. So on that note, what do you think of the clown motel? Do you like the theme? By yeah, day, I just I'm like guessing. that it's all hand painted and weird. I think it's cool. So you would like to hang out here. You just like prefer to, to sleep in a different hotel. I would like to see it finished. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be finished one day, dude. He's I, only had a couple years here. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. I'm, uh, I wanted to see. So there's my room here at the end, number 206. I got my, <laughs> I got my own chair right here. There's a, a cup I think you could use as an ashtray, even though there's also a no smoking sign. And here's our buddy George, dude. Oh my gosh. George is gonna go into his room and clean it up really quick so we can go see it. Apparently George's dirty underwear is uh, still all over the place. Ooh, Tyler, this is exactly, this is right up your, <laughs> this is right up your. <laughs> I don't know if it's up my alley, but. There's the cemetery and there's the clown. Babes, I don't know what's going on. I, I suspect this might be related to the Clown Motel horror movies. I guess look at this, the room next to yours, the room between you and George, number 208, is the Clown Motel movie room. So they filmed in there, guessing guess they, they did. Guessing they themed I haven't seen that one yet. Are you excited to see that? I'll probably watch it when I get home. Does your love of spooky clowns extend to film at all? Not really. You like I still have I still have, I mean, 
I like the Tim Curry Pennywise. I haven't seen the, like, the Terrifier movies, if that's any indication of my love of clowns. I don't even know what they are. All I know is Fair Tyler enough. loves clowns the I, most. I don't know. And because he loves okay. clowns the most, all we ever wanted was to get him out here to the clown motel, and you refused to come for years, dude. Mm -hmm. Finally. Yep. Finally. Yep. Are orange you glad I came? Finally. Finally, I haven't brushed the, my teeth yet this oh, morning. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, look, here's the Halloween suites. That might have Michael Myers in I there. Think Michael Myers is in that room, yeah. You saw the video we did last time where we were seeing some of the uh, themed ones. Yeah. We have the Exorcist and everything. Yeah. And then who's this over here, Tyler? What do we got here? That would be Sid tour. Haig uh -huh. from House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects. And he's a clown. He's a clown. So he fits in here perfectly yeah. Yeah, with all the other clowns. Rest in okay. peace. Here's room 211. We got a... Nice clown. I, I heard. I, I, uh, like these, I like these little wooden clowns. Yeah, these were here. They're cute. Pre Haim. So these were here in the on the old sure. motel. It was almost the only clown yeah, thing. Yeah, cool. Thing about it. But I was gonna say, um, what was I gonna say? I, I forget. Know. Let's keep rolling. Okay. We'll keep moving. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say. I think John Wayne Gacy. I learned this when I was with you. We went to the Museum of Death, a place that is not family friendly, not able to be filmed that um, he did all these clown paintings. Oh, he yeah, was a clown. yeah, he did a lot of those, yeah. And someone told me apparently like the way he would paint the clown was like really, like it's, all it's, the other clowns were like, whoa, we, a well, real clown would makeup, never have that makeup. makeup. When he would dress up as a yeah. clown was like pointy and I guess in like, at least in old clown circles. Circles, that was like a very like not old okay thing to circles. do. Old clown circles. There's some old clown circles No right pointing, there. it's just old clown circles. Yeah. All right, what do we got over here? Who, who do we got here? Ty, give us an art tour. This is Jason Voorhees. Not a clown. Not a clown, not even clown adjacent. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think there was ever a circus or a clown or anyone no. really clowning around much. I don't think so. In. And, if, and if you clowned around too much. Well, the one guy who clowned around too much is the guy that was walking on his hands. And yeah. we remember what happened to him. Yeah, and Kevin Bacon. And Kevin Bacon. No clowning around Kevin Bacon. I'm not a big fan of Kevin Bacon, dude, are you? Uh, you like Kevin really Bacon? You kind of look Kevin. like Kevin Bacon. Oh, okay, thanks. I, don't... I see it. It's from underneath, okay, from down sorry. here. That's okay. okay, all right. What do we got here? What's so uh, that's what I was gonna say. So, did do you think any of these are like sinister clowns? Like, no, you think I professional just, clowns would? I, maybe they would look down on it, but I think these are harmless. <laughs> okay, so these are harmless. <laughs> I wonder which room. Oh, Friday the Thirteenth themed room okay. right here. And then if you didn't miss that, it's upside down. Oh, it's here. upside down. You got the what? The Friday. I think it's upside down and backwards. Whoa, the camera's about to fall down All there. Right. I noticed the Friday the Thirteenth suite is here, but the. <laughs> Jason Voorhees is over here. Jason Voorhees is no, Voorhees. He's on the Voorhees. same. He's in the same area. That's far down the hallway. Okay, and then what do we got? This is Pennywise. This is the Tim Curry iteration. It looks like unclear, but it could be Tim Curry. Could be uh, the Skarsgård version. But look at this. Maybe we should ask him. Here you have a window that needs to be replaced. And you. Um, you know, you know, you don't like talking about your work too much in public, but you work in the sort of construction industry, restoration yeah, industry. Yeah, construction adjacent. You're construction yeah. adjacent. You at least work with construction guys a lot. Yeah. And uh, so this must, and you, you, you have sort of a touch of the, of the OCD, I would say. So does this place <laughs> drive you nuts? No, because the whole place is like, I mean, you knew what you are getting Because it's into. everywhere? You know what you're getting into here. Okay. So it's not like, hey, there's but you one can, window that's... You can see how he like DIY'd this. I, yeah, I don't like, know. The building codes look, look. in Nevada might be a little different. I'm, I'm, being in here makes me wonder if Nevada has building codes. Okay, now far. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now at the far end here, this is the first room I ever stayed at in oh, here. Oh yeah, okay, I remember this from and your video. I don't know if anyone's staying in there. You peek through the window, dude. I don't no, want to peek, peek through I'm, the no, camera. I'm not peek in there. All right, but um, apparently it's no longer the suite this used to be the suite and it just had more furniture in it, it had like three fridges in it one of them worked three it had the tv with like the blood drips on it that turned on by itself at yeah. night yeah now apparently it's the toy story clown suite that's woody i would assume that's supposed to be well, woody he's missing his plaid shirt he's missing butts too dude he doesn't look like woody it doesn't look like woody i don't know what that does anybody know is that might just be a Hame original, dude. Just a clown, dude. So as you can see, a lot of clown stuff here. Let's go see George's room, then we'll see my room, and then we'll hop down to the Clown Motel office and get a gander at that. Now, normally I would take the normal camera. I film here at night, I would show you everything. But we're all so tired, I thought, let's sometimes vlog it, because this is more of a Clown Motel update than it is really a Clown Motel 
history video or anything like that because like I said, I filmed it back in the old days when it was still super duper crusty. Okay, we're going in, George. Is it clean, George? Man, nobody wants to turn on their lights or open the curtains here. Let's open the curtains, shed some light, these cool like shower curtain looking things. Look at another table and chairs, a couple of beds. Give us a tour, George. Well, as you can see, the, the beds are right here. Yes. There's a nice uh, nightstand with a lamp. This one doesn't work, but it's okay. Uh-huh. Uh, very nice picture by our buddy Haim. Haim! Oh yeah, he's a good photographer. Yeah, I he, about he that. does photography. It looks great. That's where I want to be in a bath right now. Uh-huh. Uh, Elton John. Did you take a shower here? By yeah, the way? I did, yeah, I did. Oh, nice, nice. Elton John. So yeah, we got Elton John. Tyler had Spock. You've got uh, Elton John. Benny and the Clowns. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this, I think this one might be before Hames time. This seems like something that would be like old school yeah. clown hotel. A little bit. Right? Oh, but it says Tonopah on it. Ooh, interesting. Oh, back look at the, this. Back in the pod. And baby. you've got extra art. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Well, I, I did this one. I, I didn't no, know. No, no, no. I noticed that I have one of these in my room too. Lil Clown. Lil Clown. And then this you know, is. Do you know Lil Clown? I don't know. No. Okay. This one's Blinky. Blinky. And that is uh, puddles. Puddles. Yeah. All right. What else we got, George? You uh, got. A, I noticed you have a nice television here. You must have been watching TV all night, huh? Marilyn McClown. Okay, Marilyn the Clown. Oh hell, you're still doing the art, huh? Well, I thought you wanted to tour the room. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, I want to tour the room. Yeah, and then uh, there's a. Jeez, you have so much art. There's Ronald Reagan President, as a clown. President Reagan. Well, he looks happy. Well, well, he's clowning around. I am Ronald Reagan. Let me see the let me see the shower, dude. <laughs> it's got a it's got a nice Paris themed yeah. shower curtain. I felt like I was there. A lot of clowns in Paris. Let me I tell you. I felt like I was. Uh, you know, it felt like when I was in there, it was raining on the Champs Elysees. Yeah, Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees. Yeah. Yes. I've been on the Champs Elysees while yeah. it's raining, dude. Let me tell you, it is just like this. It's Actually, I think it smells more like pee. In France, if I'm going to be honest with you, when it rains in Paris, that's not a knock at you, Frenchmen out there. That's just the fact about big cities. Yeah, and a very nice trash can. I oh. threw, threw my trash in there. I had some corn pops this morning. George, you've been availing yourself of that trash can. You've been using that amenity. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Oh, well, why don't we turn the light on? Oh, hey, look at that. That light works. Help. I didn't yeah. even try. Okay, and like I said, you got a nice TV. You must have watched that all night. Huh? You know what? The remote didn't work, so I thought I was out of luck. But guess what, dude? What? What happened? <laughs> I didn't know TVs came with buttons on them. Where you can turn it on. What? Yeah, check it out. Look, it works. You actually got it to work? Yeah, yeah. I was watching the local news this morning. They were, talk they were talking about the Vegas Golden Knights, and I found out that the locals around here don't know anything about hockey. Oh, uh, so okay. That was interesting. So I was watching some um, SVU, Law & Order. Because I was making that whole joke because your TV didn't work last night. You're like, don't bomb the law. No, I figured it out. Like, Tyler has TV. You have TV. I don't have any TV. <laughs> buddy, What's right? the good, buddy? Hey. <laughs> What's the game? <laughs> yeah, it turns out I just had to get up and... Figure out how to, yeah, turn it on. Yeah. Well, dang, I wish I had thought of that. But All yeah, that's right. that's the room. Last but not least, I guess we got to look at my room. Yeah, go for it. It's really, really dirty. You coming with, George? You coming with, Tyler? Is somebody coming with? Oh, George is going to stay here. Wait, by the way, how was the shower, George? Oh, wait, Tyler, you got the microphone in your oh, hand? Oh, yeah, sorry. How was the shower? How was it? Yeah, honestly. Did you feel good? Oh, it's fine. Why don't you take a shower then, Tyler? Yeah, the water was good. Did and you, I felt feel I feel clean. You feel clean? You don't. You didn't feel the need to. I took a shower yesterday. I'm gonna take a shower. I took a shower tonight. yesterday. All right. Well, I took a shower yesterday. I took a shower this morning. I took a shower later. All right. Why don't you want to take a shower, Tyler? Seriously. Okay. I'm gonna take one when I get home in a couple hours. This is what's been going on for days. But George, <laughs> in a couple of hours, you can take one now. All right. <laughs> That's George. George has got that uh, mean dad humor. All right. I stayed at the far end of the building the first time that I ever stayed at the Clam Hotel. Now I've come to the opposite far end i've now stayed on the wing suites upstairs 206 the the random land room maybe <laughs> maybe well, could well, be. sometimes vlog room at least and uh first things first the behind the door picture of a oh boy very of a child i was thinking i have a picture it's a famous picture in my family of me, my brother, my mom, and my dad, of me as a two-year-old. It's my first Halloween costume ever. My mom made me a clown costume, dude. And I'm in a little clown costume with clown makeup. I was thinking maybe I should send that picture to Haim and he could frame it up on one of these and you could have me as a two-year-old in a clown costume. But how's he gonna that? know? I mean, it's just gonna be a regular picture of you. Oh, uh, you calling me a clown? But not your brother. Oh, was your brother like dressed up to make it too? No, it was just me. He wasn't alive. I was two. Shocker. And he's two years younger. 
Do the math, Tyler. And then we've got this over here. Here's a Haim original. Now, I'm blessed with, I think, the best art of all the art. Hashtag bless. It is back here. We're going to... We're gonna finish That's up with that one. That's my favorite piece, yeah. It's a great piece. Here's, this is definitely old school clown motel. Just like. Also a little cookie, yeah. yeah. And okay. people donate stuff from all over the world, like clown objects that are in the office, but also paintings. Here's another Haim original. So that I, would be Jolly, right? Uh, I think Jolly Maybe, is or the one, main one character. Maybe one of the main clowns that's on the building. You can see I got dressers. There comes George. Hey, you didn't knock. Anyway. Some Haim original. I don't know what this is. A billy club? Uh, no, it's one it's of those, that's pin. one of those juggling like... Oh, uh, a juggling pin. Yeah. This is old school clown motel, huh, George? That is the, exactly the kind of thing that was on the walls in the old days. Now, Haim has digitally restored them, quote unquote. Uh, he's taken them into... I don't know how, but he somehow digitally restored them and then added his own little logo to the painting. So he's even turned the old classic clown paintings into... Uh, things. I did take a shower. I availed myself not only of the shower, but of the throne. Sat on it for a while, I didn't do anything, but I just sat on it, just enjoyed the feeling. Uh, there's the, George, there's a mirror, a microwave. This is where everybody ate last night, so it's full of trash. Yeah, sorry. And, uh, and then there's, this is just really the creme de la creme. There's that. The what do you think about? I just, I just keep thinking about him. I looked at that from the bed all night. I, <laughs> it's just funny, man. And I don't know, he's kind of doing a Spock thing a little bit. <laughs> this is the thing. Un unclear. Which one's the thumb, friends? You might think it's this one. Hold your hand up like that, Tyler. Well, I think, Hold up your right hand. I think it's, it's probably that. Yeah, because you see the lines here. This indicates the inside. But then hold your other hand, hand up. Oh, and that changes everything. Now I'm convinced it's that. And this guy's just got a fat pinky. I don't know. I, yeah. This is the kind of art I love. I love it. It's a little it. bit outsider index art. Finger. I mean, it's weird. What's George saying? He said what? He said the index finger. So the, he's saying that the index oh, finger. Oh, the index if, finger. If it is indeed Okay, so if this hand. is the thumb, this is the index finger, well, and it's tiny. Size your index finger. If this is the thumb, that's the index finger. That would be your middle. That would be your ring. That would be your pinky. And then he's still got a fat pinky. Either way but, you look at Oh, dude, fat pinky's a good band name. You write that down. A good fat band pinky. Name. Yeah, we probably could tell by the lines here that indicate the inside of the palm, but I'm not a forensic analysis. This is... The, you didn't even, that wasn't even a word. Forensic analysis, Anal is it? What happened? My brain is confused. Looking at this confuses my brain and it, it makes me stutter. I can't stop looking at it. I know, I, he's weirdly captivating. You want to be like, oh, you know, he messed up the hand, but did he? I think this is art. This is real art. It's definitely art. It makes you think. All of it's art. If I could have a print of one clown painting. Oh, it's got to be that one. It's got to be this. This is what I would get you for. When's your birthday? Uh, I don't have one. When's his birthday, George? I deleted it. Huh? It's his birthday's in the summer, yeah? Tyler's birthday is July. July. Okay, in 19th. July. July. 19th, 1990. I'm going to grab... <laughs> <laughs> and his social security number is though yeah so i'm gonna get this for your birthday if it's all at all possible so okay on your birthday if you don't receive this from me just know that it wasn't possible and that i went to the ends of the earth okay to do it this one i think is structurally part of the building now i don't think this this could come off i think this is a load-bearing load load it's a load-bearing clown <laughs> um oh much like there was a load-bearing clown in the office i think in one of those episodes all right oh, okay. and speaking of the office Let's go see the Clown Motel office. George's got to show us our clowns we? that we donated. I think well, I can only find one of them. He think he found one of them yesterday. All right, let's go. All right, we're going in. Going into the office that I showed you earlier. I showed you guys earlier the best sign ever. The museum has some haunted clowns. So some of the stuff in here is pretty spooky. Are you still want to enter? Yes. I am still want to enter. See, look at this. I got the door. Photography I got the door. is welcome here. That's the best thing. All right, here we go, George. And look at the size. Hey, good morning. Look at the size of this. Have you ever watched my first video? That's the one that more than a million people saw. This was a tiny little office. It was just this little section and a little counter. It's already been expanded once, twice, three times. Hey, and it keeps expanding. What's going on? My painting in my room. Oh yeah. Your <gasps> the sad lady who doesn't look like she wants to be a clown. Paintings in your room too. 
Oh my gosh, oh, where's one of George's painting? And look, there's the cute little clowns I love above them. Oh, so the originals are in here, and I he must have digitally it. copied some of them. Digital restorations. Oh, now here's a Grim Reaper ring I was thinking clown. of buying. Do you think I look good with a Grim Reaper ring? I think you look better than good with a Grim Reaper ring. Do you think I should get this I think ring you for, get one for each finger? Oh, each. Well, I don't know if that would work. They'd clack together. Anyway, here we go. Look Is that a potential clack. band name? Yeah, clack. ring for each finger. Ring for each finger or clack together. Clack. Look at that. We got different times here. Different clown paintings over there. Look at these clown masks, George. Oh, and then they added something genius. We were talking about this last time that they should do this. You can get for ten bucks a person. They will take you through the clown motel. That's a good deal. Through rooms that are, you know, not occupied. We saw the tour going on last night. It looked pretty fun. And then you, uh, and then through the cemetery. So they're talking about the cemetery and the yeah, graves. Right. Look at this. Here's the story of the clown motel. They do not buy and sell any clowns. But look at this. They have over 5,600? 5,600. 5,600 clowns now. So this number's out of date. And look at this. Been featured all over the world. Here's the penny press in here. Here's the Clown Motel uh, Scary Movie DVDs. They're signed. They're signed? Nice. Movies are filmed here. And look at this. Would you like to buy a watch, Tyler? Um, maybe. Maybe. A ring, a jewelry, a necklace? Maybe. Okay. Look at this. Coming in a little bit deeper. Haim has seriously upped the merch game. There's all kinds of Clown Motel shirts, sweatshirts. You got Reno and Clown Motel shirts. Look at this. You got Area 51 and Clown Motel shirts, which was pretty much our trip. That one's relevant to us. That one's pretty cool. The, the shirts are also branded. Look at this. Look at the tag. Clown Collections over here. That is uh, an interesting thing. Uh-oh. I can make some other stuff move, too. All right. He's talking about haunted clowns and different stuff. Dude, you got all kinds of sizes. Look at this. Haim is stoked to live in the USA now, dude. He's got the Betsy Ross flag. Wow, Betsy Ross. There. I noticed this. He's got an assortment of stuff. You got Gas X down here. You got a Revlon thing. So they don't provide a hair dryer, but you can buy one in here. Toothpick they got holders. masks. Oh, toothpick holders. As, uh, as the Disney call parks Disney. call them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look at charging cable. Didn't you need one of these? Uh, you know, PC for your car, yeah. yeah. Hook you up, Gillette. Oh, look at the size hey, of that sticker. That's the best a man can get. Yeah. Remember hey, those old hold this, hold this uh, thing so we can see how. Hand that to George, actually. George, hold. That. George for scale. That is a, <laughs> that is a bumper sticker, guys. Bumper sticker. Yeah. That look at the, the size of our size of that thing. This is a full bumper. Sticker. That is a bumper sticker for your whole I bumper. Swear. These are big car magnets. You slam those on your car. They got 20 inch bumper stickers right here. So this is 20 inch. So I don't know how big that. That one is look at this look at the size it's definitely over 20. yeah so not only do they have a big selection of merch they also have just big merch okay and then the most important thing we were kind of waiting until it cooled down over there the most important thing is oh books are not for sale but if you want to read one you got a book here well, it's reading material the most for the important room thing is the collection of clowns look at this is just clown marionettes hanging clowns here's a clown mask over here and that's just the tip of the iceberg look at the size of the collection and as if Haim didn't have enough clown art everywhere he's still painting more dude yeah, he can't just, stop it's a clown factory look there's like stacks of old clown pictures and paintings all over the floor there's so many they have a storage Some of this unit full. vintage stuff is really cool you like the vintage stuff yeah, you like the vintage like clowns like just the old stuff like the old porcelain stuff is awesome what do you see what what jumps out at you what do you want to own there's a lot to see i like any little any little cute clown yeah look at the size of this room right here hold on real quick look at the size of it you come in from that main office we'll see this area in a second when these people are done but look at all these freaking clown paintings stacks and dude they're stacked like five or six deep in some places and then donated priceless clowns from around the world not for sale george not for sale sale are here in the clown motel anyone jump out at you i gave you a chance to look uh i didn't have much <laughs> There's a lot to see. Look at this. This is a secret door of clowns. That's like our booth at Midsummer last year. Yeah, we had a little secret passage. It wasn't full of clowns, though, unless we were walking through it. So these have all been donated from all over the world. Oh, is that the one you just put in here, George? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. You, did, you just did that one? Yeah, that's the one. Awesome. And uh, George just brought this one this time. And then, whoa, look at this. Uh, these. This collection started back... Uh, with the original clown motel and so some of these were here when we first came but you, as you can see people just keep bringing them keep bringing them and uh where's our clowns i know where it's at right here. 
What year was it the first year we came here, George? 2018? Maybe? Under the original, well not yeah. the original owner, but the old owner. Right. 2018? That's, that's ours right there. We brought that. Yeah. Oh, it might say on there. And if you pick it up. George Salazar. Justin Scar. And our friend Oscar. Oscar. Oh, we didn't put the year on here. We didn't put the year on there. We should have put the year. Probably 2017, 2018. Okay, so something like that. And that's the only one I can find. Uh, there's there's three clowns here we donated before. There's well, two of these. Well, we think we donated this. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. brought this last time. And uh, it plays Send in the Clowns if you turn the nose. It's a little music box action. Is it doing it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's, play it's playing the song. But we can't tell if we signed this. I think we this, may have signed it right here. Right it might there, be covered somewhere. by yeah. the duct tape. Someone kicked our clown. So, um, but you can see some of these have been here for a long, long time. Do you find these creepy, George? No. Like you could sleep in this room and just stare at all these clowns? Uh, I guess. I mean, they don't talk, so it's all good. It's funny. The first time we came here, I don't know if that you were so stoked on just the uh, clown motel, but you love the clown motel. Yeah, it's fun, man. You're it's always awesome. like, dude, we gotta go, we gotta take time. I never, the I never had a problem with staying here. And, hey, uh, that, what, I what, think what? that's it. Is that it? <gasps> this is one of our clowns, right here. This. That that's it, right? Uh, that's got to be one of ours, dude. We brought a couple knitted clowns. We brought two, right? Yes. And that is got. I think. That's I, think one, that's, I think that's that's, that's the one you gave. Yeah. And then remember the one I that you gave me had the sickle and hammer on oh, it? But it's hard to tell. Look, there's so many plush clowns. What the heck is that? Somebody's grandpa has a clown. <laughs> there's like clown. Look at what are these things called? The snow, snow globes. globes. Oh, what's this? What is this? What does that oh, say? Oh, Daily I, Desert News. Are these haunted ones? Haunted clown haunted dolls clown with dolls. news article. 700 plus shipping. Oh, well, that must be what they bought it for because they don't sell They don't, they don't sell, sell anything. Here, these yeah. things are too precious. They're, They're too priceless. priceless. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, there you go. So there's a whole clown collection. In but yeah, here. as you saw before, I brought a little Pennywise straight yep. from the uh, Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet. Straight from the Santa yeah. Fe Spring <laughs> Swap Meet. You made it. Meet. You made it to the top, buddy. Okay. What's over here? What's what we got on this shelf? We got some clown shoes. We got to hurry up. We got to get out of here. Checkout time almost. We got some Jack in the Box clowns. Circus Circus mug. Circus Circus mug. Okay, so let's, see, let's see the art. Tyler's our art. Uh, uh, he's, he's, he's our art. yeah. He's our art guy. <laughs> Some kind of clown toy. It's a clown toy. What do you think of all this uh, stuff, Tyler? We have, uh, uh, there's, I don't know exactly what to say. I'm <laughs> overwhelmed. Okay. <laughs> Albert Einstein as a clown. Yes. Theory of relativity. E equals MC fun. Could be. Could be. E equals that is a clown from Not Scary Farm. This is Terrifier the movie. That's Art the Clown. Oh, E equals MC Scared, George just said. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. good. Yeah. Here's a paper mache hanging clown. That's cool. And um, this is George's favorite clown George's right here. George's favorite clown. Bruce Lee clown. Bruce Lee as a clown. You like this stuff though, huh? You like the vintage stuff? I, yeah, I just, I like, even like those paintings are great, dude. They're not vintage, I don't yeah. think, but those are rad. I noticed yesterday the guest book is full, and so where people are actually flipping through pages to find just blank spaces, but we did sign oh, this. It's all yes, out of order. Did. We yeah. did. Yeah, but I put the I put the date. We didn't sign for you. Did I'll you sign, sign it? Yeah, I signed. Okay. Whoa, did you just let us slip? Yeah, you might want to bleep that out. Oh, I'm never gonna bleep that out, dude. So uh, Tyler, what Tyler said was oh slip. Oh, he slip. slipped. Okay, oh, so slip. let me give you a panorama now that there aren't so many people in here. Look at the size of the clown motel collection now. And look. There's a little slideshow uh, going of all Hames photography. Uh, and uh, a lot more products in here, dude. A lot of like gift shop area. But as I showed you, they're expanding this out even farther, dude. Yeah, so I guess that'll be part of the museum. There's going to be at some point. even more clowns. Oh, real quick. I just remembered I can show you guys what the original clown motel looked like. See, it did have the big marquee sign outside, but it was just blue. Like it was just yeah, yeah. nothing going yeah, on. You really did a number on this place. So what do you think of the Clown Motel now, Tyler? <laughs> you're probably not going to be in a hurry to return and sleep here because you're not much of a sleep away from home guy. Yeah, I don't, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't get out of the house too often. But you, this is a memory you'll treasure forever, is it not? I will treasure it for at least the next four to six months. What about you, George? You going to treasure this memory? Always. You going to reminisce about this uh, moment? I'm just happy to be here with my buddy. Yeah, uh, see, how, see how he is? My buddy finally got Tyler See here. how he is? Stop with the eye contact. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? <laughs> I got what's wrong with looking at the people you love? Yeah, what's wrong with looking at the people you Are love? You have a little love. Nothing. Tyler? It's just there's a few seconds too long. Are you uncomfortable being loved? Come, come on, man. Come on, buddy. Hey, Please. look, a clown motel hug. All right. How many days have we spent together now in too a many. row? For love too many. 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 Too many.
Our love for you is out of this world, Tyler. Hey. All right, so there you go. A little Clown Motel merch. Traveling circus over here. I got a, I got a couple of uh, Clown Motel mugs. I'm bringing them, uh, bringing them down south. We got t-shirts. We got just, there's just so much random fun stuff in here. Is huh. that, is that it too? Look, what? Look, is that it? Oh yeah, there's another one right there. See if that has one signed on the back. Same one? Here, grab that. That's the same thing. No, it. Or ours is very similar. No, nope. no. We signed ours on the back. So he's had, I think he showed he us when we donated, few. he said he had a few of them. So, I mean, as you could tell from those ceramic clowns over there, do you see how many there were? Like they're the repeats? In. They're like three, four deep. Yeah, like, anyway. So come out and bring a clown with you to donate if you come out to the clown motel. But try to make it something unusual. That's the challenge actually, to try to find a clown object Haim already doesn't have. That's the challenge. Good luck. All right, gang. That's going to be it from the Clown Motel today. The video ended up being a little longer than I thought it was going to be because my buddies were around. They wanted to jump in on the clown action. There you have it. The Clown Museum at the Clown Motel. The world famous Clown Motel, Tyler. The world famous the world Clown famous Motel. Clown Where's Motel. George? If he was here, this would be the money shot. Maybe we Photoshop George in as a clown right next to Tyler. Here, there, here, 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 look. We Photoshop him in. Somebody Photoshop George in. Photoshop ah, George. And then that'll be a sick pick. That'll be like a fun pick for the fam. That will be a sick pick. Dude, would you send a picture of yourself at the Clown Motel to your grandma? Just so she would know that you had been here? I think you should do it. You should think it over. Okay, I'll think, think it over. over. All right, gang, we did it. We came, we did the extraterrestrial highway. We checked out a very rad uh, Nevada ghost town, the deadliest town no one's ever heard of. And then we did uh, Area 51 and finally stayed at the Clown Motel with fake Tyler. Uh, we were here, we got here pretty late. Otherwise we would have filmed the whole regular yeah, video. Yeah. And uh, we woke up pretty late. So we're now gonna grab everything, take it to the car, check the heck out of here, go home, and sleep well. Yeah! Never really understood why exactly people are uh, Afraid of happy, nice clowns. You know, nice, fun-looking, friendly, lovely, happy-go-lucky clowns. I mean, what a fun theme. Right, guys? I mean, everybody likes clowns. Oh, what's that? You know, it just occurred to me. I forgot to say goodnight to my friends. Maybe we'll just go do that right now. Why aren't you guys in the room? I don't know, man. Something weird going on in there. Let's look. Get a pizza, George? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. This is the best idea we ever had. We've grown so much as friends. Sincerely. Very you truly, get? absolutely. You like looking like that? Best idea ever. Yeah. What you working on? Editing. Oh. I should probably do that too. What are you gonna do later? Sleep. Lucky. Well, you've done your duty. You can go home and ha!